So how are we doing guys? Welcome. It's Kraken here. Back in seven days to die. Nav's game. The beginning of day number 13. And the very beginning as well because normally we don't start till about four o'clock. But we're starting one o'clock in the morning and I've just finished the roof off. And now I'm just having a little play with a few of these shapes here. Just to do something a bit different. Now, I'm going to put relays all over this roof um, as soon as we get into electricity because I want to put... Oh, missed that totally. I want to put the timer relays on. And the reason I want to do that is so that we can... When we turn back up over night time, the lights are already on for us. So you can set what time... The lights come on and off, and I want to hide all the wires up behind all of that. Now, we press R. Can we make the tips for this? So we're going to need to use a few different shapes here, I believe, to do all of this. Corner bottom, we'll be using that. Have we got a corner top? Corner top, so we're going to be using that shape there. Back to our shapes. Uh, what did I do with the top corner there? Top corner goes in like that. Now, sometimes these shapes can be a di bit difficult to, to see. So, that's the shape we're going for, but I want an overhang as well. So, I've got the table saw being made at the moment. These storage boxes that I've got here... Um, are also now linked in with the furniture. So if you keep your finger on R, go to the shape, then you have all this furniture here as well, which includes things like the bookcases, um, even chairs. Um, now, am I actually going to need anything that has storage? Because I doubt a table I'm going to be able to actually open and have a storage. So let's put that down. No, so once you've once you've done that, you get no no chance to be able to use that. Right. There we go. That's our table saw made. Number seven. Let's put him down here. Right. Let's use you. And we... So that's all you make with the table saw. Literally, these few items. What's the, what's the point in having it in the game anymore? Right, let's just quickly make 10 of those. I know I've, in previous al alphas you had virtually every other shape apart from a square made with a table saw, and that kind of made a bit of sense. But um, why why it's like that, I, I have no idea. Um, let's get back up over to here into the corner. And... Need to turn you back into a square. I do like that feature, like that though, but I just wish I had more shapes so we weren't messing about doing this. Right. So we can put tips in. Just like this. So we'll have a nice little overhang. Um. Uh, what I don't like is this overhang over here, because that's going to get a little bit dodgy. Cue the broken leg. Ah, so I think we'll get away with that. So, tips over this side. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so... We needed the table saw to make that shape, but to do this one that goes in the corner, I'm back over to this block and wood frame wedge bottom corner. Is that the one we need? Looks like it to me. So, try not to take away too many of these away. There we go. So that's my plan at the moment. So we have a nice little overhang and then it 
goes back down to the original ceiling height, which is here. And then we can put light bulbs up here with relays dead above the light bulb. So I don't like the way that you get these wires hanging here, there and everywhere. Um, we put a few doors on this place as well, don't we? Let's um, make three of those. Let's have them opening outwards like this. Or opening inwards, I should say. There we go. And we'll put that one just in like that. Good stuff. Right, so I've started filling all these boxes up. I can't remember if I showed you that in the last episode or not. Um, but if I didn't, there you go. Um, we're going to get these forges going as well. Load of iron. Have we got any spare clay? Oh, we haven't got a lot of clay left. Okay. So we are going to have to go and get some clay soil. Um... You can use these wedge tips or any other if you craft anything extra um, and you don't need them. Obviously, we're going to need those. In fact, we're going to whack them in there anyway because we're going to need loads of them. Right, four o'clock in the morning. Let's get started. So my hammer is just going to come over here. I did make some cargo pockets as well because we had loads of those sewing kits from the last episode so i have gone ahead and i put them on the vest top and on the poncho love a poncho right we need some food go to my food chest is over here we're going to have chicken rations perfect way to start the day a bit of chicken and we'll have a red tea. Awesome. Right. What have we got quest-wise? Have a quick little look. I know we're getting up to some tier 4 quests now. Right, we've got a nice easy tier 3. 260 metres away. Let's go and do it. Right, so this is actually... The building that we've already done once because that's ex how we got out so this is the super corn race building and we never actually went in and killed all the pigs for their bones but we're doing very well for bones so okay did we actually do it as a quest i'm pretty sure we did okay so this is a fetch now it says that they Things are above us. Do we actually go through this or do we just go and get the final loot and quickly... Right, because we did this only an episode or two ago. Right, this is the level that we know the supplies are on. Can we shoot through the jail doors? Take that as a yes. So because we don't have to clear everything, we're going to see if we can sneak in here. I was about to say without waking anything up, but too late for that. Let's find these supplies, and then we'll just go down and find the final loot. Come on. We, we're not going to need a lot of the basic stuff that we'd find in here. Uh, the supplies are actually through this wall here somewhere. Oh, hello. Big mama's about. Oh, okay. Cool. What I can't remember, was there a safe or anything in here? Right, so they're flashing. There they are. Right, okay. So there's cement in here as well. Hmm. 
Are we making the right decision, people? Ah, uh, but we do want the super corn. Right, let's go for it in reverse. We'll go for it till we get to the super corn because we do want that. Sorry, Grace, we're going to have to um, kill you again. Right, there's one of the super corns. There we go. That's one of them. Right, let's kill you. There was another one of them. There was another room, wasn't there? Another antibiotic. Right, I believe. Goes down. What are you doing in the middle of the table? Yeah, here we go. Look at this. Super corn at four days. We're at, oh, we've got a working stiff crate over there as well. Destroy workbench. Another wheel. Build our, build our own 4x4 at this rate. Now that's very good because we can scrap that and use that to make our own steel tools. Even though we've got a better one at the moment, we can get rid of the glass. We don't need that. We can scrap this. We need the corn, and that will give us steel tool parts. So if we wanted to make our own, we would need that. Right. I'm going to quickly dig up what we've got right here in front of us, and then we're going to get out of here. So there we go, nearly 2,000 cement just from doing that one little area. So that was pretty good. Now, do we actually have somewhere we can put this triple storage mod on? If we did, we would have no encumbrance left. So we, we do have a better helmet. Uh, we've got one on there. We've got one on there. We've got one on there. Um, and if we had some better boots, I'm actually going to... Let's modify that. Take the cooling mesh off for the second. Because we're not going to the desert. There we go. So day 13. And we've already completely use this without having to put any points into pack mule at all which is good news good news we don't like to waste points um oh we've got a tier one there 
Right, let's go and hand this back in. Now this is quite a cool little place. The Ranger's Hut, I believe this one's called. Turn our light off. Doors locked. Now there is a gun safe in here as well. Wakey, wakey people. Now you come, come on. Who's next? Anybody else in here? Everything's locked. Right, well, we'll leave it locked just in case somebody's in there. Let's break our way into here. i surprised there wasn't a zombie in there. Six bloody lockpicks. Oh. Well, you're going to be worth some money, but not really much else. Okay, well, as we're already in here, we will go upstairs. Okay, box has totally disappeared. Well, who have we got up here? Literally nobody. Okay, so this is a good little place to come in your first day or two, especially if you're looking for a cooking pot. Or you're looking for a smoothie recipe. They will supply you with all your needs. There's a few times I have lived up on the roof for the first night because there is a ladder. Um, it's probably going to be locked, isn't it? And we'll just quickly show you. There is a ladder up onto the roof, just a wooden ladder. So if you're getting later in the day. Thank you. As we'll get the chairs as we're here. Where's this ladder gone? There he is. So you can just... You're not a spoon like me. Knock out the bottom of the ladder and just sit yourself up here. So it's not a bad little place to come. On your first day or so. If you're trying to find somewhere to stay. And we'll scrap that one. So here we go, back at our original trader. Let's just hand this in and then I think we might go and try that tier 4 quest or maybe if he offers us a tier, tier 4, we'll do it. So once again, I'm going to take the pickaxe, not because it's worth loads of money. In fact, that's probably worth more, but I want the steel tool parts because it's the only way we can make parts. All right, here we go. Level 4, 941. Thank you. Let's go and have a quick look at this business strip. Right, we want to sell the hunting rifle to you. That, that. And we're going to sell the AK. Not really worth anything. I'm going to keep the level 4 pistol, even though we've got a level 4 pistol. Why raced a repair kit on it? We're going to scrap you down. And let's get off to this business strip. Well, if you actually look at this, guys, we've now got two quests that are exactly the same. So, is they're exactly the same distance away. They're both business strips. Number three, yeah. Right. Let's go and scrap this one then. And do that by going into here. That was the one we were on. And let's... Remove quest. As we don't want to go through the same business trip twice. As we've just been through that grace building twice. Do you have any jobs? Level 4. 1.8 away. Okay, burnt business. Thank you. I bet you wouldn't do this for just anyone. If that's the Home Depot, I'm going to scream. You are actually kidding me. The amount of buildings in this place and you give me two on the trot that we've already done. Right, forget that. We're going to do something else. We already went through that twice in the last episode. Right, hold on, let me find something. 
Right, we're gonna get out of here because look, there's bears, there's vultures. I can stay in this burnt biome. So we're gonna head to the nice sunny the nice sunny biome and we're gonna go and check out the passing gas that we um were meant to pass the other day but we didn't. We decided to take the scenic route, so it's somewhere down here. There it is. So let's see what this place has to offer us. Now, we are going to have to change our outfit. Wear that instead of the BDU top. And wear that rather than the puffer jacket, else we would melt in this heat. Right. Bit of oil. Gas. They need to um they need to sort this out because this is this is Nav's game, so they know what's in the map. But I understand it a little bit more with random gen. But they know exactly what um what's in this map, you know. Why can't they They should be able to they know exactly what's in here. Most of these phases can be used as quests. So why don't they just give us each quest once? You know. I can understand it if you wanted to keep on doing tier 5 quests. There's only so many buildings that are tier 5. You know, the factories and whatnot. But. And why don't they give them the proper bloody names? You know, we know what the Home Depot is and we would have gone right. Let's not take it. Right. Three lot picks just for a bloody stomp it on. Right. Come on. What are you going to give me? Oh, chainsaw. Here, yeah, water, water. Empty jar. Right, okay. Oh. Mega crush. Okay, that's good. Luckily, that was the trader that's by our house. So, or the one closest to our house. So we can um, cancel him nice and easily. Come on. Oh, don't be silly. Did see another one. Oh, oh eat you both. Where's that vulture gone? You doing all the way up there? Seven six two. Oh, always wait till I'm not looking. Right, I didn't actually quite get to see what was in there. Oh, look at that! Okay, now I've cheered up. Oh, I didn't see that as well. He had three diamonds as well, so we can actually make. That's my own fault. Um, we can actually make the um, diamond tip. Diamond tip mod for that, but yeah, art of mining too. Okay, we're definitely we're not going to be selling those. We're definitely going to be keeping hold the diamonds look at these repair kits loads of them for that 1200 okay game cheered me up a little bit use a bandage we'll make one more right there we go and we've got another level three wrench okay Okay, you've made it up to me. 
you knew I couldn't be mad at you for that long. Level three shotgun, that's nice. This is what I want to upgrade. I need, I want the um, compound crossbow. Okay, what, what have we got going on back here? Okay, so we've got a workbench or a destroyed one. Steel shovel level three. Game, you just keep on making it up to me. Right. I don't like the sound of that. Oh. Alright, we don't like coolies. Creepy coolies. Okay, so which means we can scrap that one. They'll get us some more steel tool parts. The grave digger on there, and we can put another mod onto there at some point. Any more gas for us? No. No. And some lead. Ooh. Okay. Burned by a um, zombie. Come on, Spader. Skater. Punk, let's saw you out. Beautiful, look at that. Right, okay. Okay, do we have any quests down in this area as we are here? Let's defense, tier one, survivor's camp. Probably the one we've already done because that's the way the game is treating us at the moment. Seriously, you can't make this shit up. The amount of places in this game and you're just sending us to the same same places over and over again. Sure, I'm not a baseball player. Oh my god, come on. Jesus. Right. Shut up. Say that. Ooh. Didn't have you last time, did we? Turn to trader. Ooh. We'll be scrapping that, but... Level 5 AK. Okay. Now, we haven't put any points into Lucky Looter, apart from right at the beginning. Um, as in the first couple of days, that can really, really help. So we're going to have a look, little look at the point situation in a second. Maybe we start to overheat a little bit. No room in inventory. I find that very hard to believe. Oh, you are right. And we have a chair in here. Scrap the lead, because we already have a lead pile. Still got jukes in here. Okay. What have we got over here? Just some scrap stuff. Food for me? No, just beer. Right, let's get the bones and the nitrate. Beautiful. Right, where's my bike? As you notice, I've stopped picking up the feathers so much because when we go on to build our next load of arrows, bolts, um, we're going to be using plastic. Because to make the 
steel crossbow bolts we use plastic so right put the gas that we have into there right airdrop okay plenty of food don't really need saw your reflection come here right enough of you guys oh my Now listen here, Turkey. Any more of you? Always interrupting me. And I, I keep forgetting to put the lucky looter goggles on. We've got to do that in Grace's place as well. Nothing new there. Let's see. Oh. Let's use a bandage. Now. So guys, it's early in the day. So, we're going to go and see the last trader, trader number five. We're going to go and say hello to him, because we have read the book now that if we stand on a landmine, it shouldn't go off. Um, not that I'm going to try and put that to the test, because I know what these sneaky fun pimps are like. They probably had their fingers crossed or something. But as it's not too far away, let's um, jump down to the wasteland biome and um see what he's got to offer now there's our first factory of the game the shamway factory and we're officially now in wasteland biome so we're going to follow this road down here this should take us to gravestown and you 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 find on the road so you're not going to find landmines on the road so if, as long as you stay onto the main roads, you should be all right. Um, though I don't know if there's a road actually going to the trader. Like I say, it's been a long time since I've played this one. Oh, we've got holes in the road as well. So we've got a decent sized shotgun messiah there. Right. He's been following me for about half an hour. We have made it just about in one piece. Trader Joel's. Oh, why have I just thrown that on the floor? You better pick it up. Thank Christ for that. Right. Working chemistry station. workbench oh we've got a schematic oh we have two skill points some lock picks some goggles and some needle and thread i think we're i think that's it for needles and threads now i don't think we're actually going to need oh we can use it for making armor horrible the wasteland by him isn't it it does look good but um horrible to actually be in we a cement mixer around here somewhere as well probably down this side there there he is there we go bit of cobblestone the name's jenny but you can call me dr jen so jen is in the wasteland biome Hey Jen, how you doing? So we've got tier twos and tier fours. Um, I imagine anything up to the north is going to be in Gravestown. So, I would love to give you a job. And business zero two. Oh, right, let's just have a little look. One. What have we already to, got? Um, get radiated. That's business strip. Burnt business zero two. The strip burnt business zero two. And what have we just taken? Burnt business zero two. So is that the one we've just taken? Because that will be the Home Depot once again. Okay. 
You've just deleted the wrong one, but it doesn't matter because I didn't want to do the Home Depot again. Burnt Beer is 0 2. Remove quest. Let's talk to you. Let's get another quest. I think I've got a job or two. The church. Not a, a problem. About you. More than happy to good do luck. that. I don't think we can make it to those safes. No. Right, we've got a load of people making a load of commotion outside. This is where I'm going to leave it, guys. I'm going to go and get myself back into the desert biome, dig up a shed load of sand, because I can't be asked to grind up a load of rocks when we get back to the base so we can start making cement. We're going to make a, make a cement mixer, because tomorrow is night so we'll probably go and dig up the buried treasure during the day and then hopefully we're gonna have a much better hoard than last time so our game stage is ramping up nicely we're on 44 506 enemy enemy kills that death as we know was on day three maybe something like that so we should be all good right big thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed it a bit of a frustrating one i know but that's that's just the way the cookie crumbles at times any comments down below we'll catch you guys in the next episode take it easy see you later